Hey, I'd like to give you a new review on this brand new LEGO passenger jet. It's so large, I can't even fit it in the screen from where I'm sitting from my camera here at my desk. But it's one of the coolest LEGO sets that have come out this season for the LEGO City lines. And let's jump into some of the things I like and really the only thing I don't like about it. So, looking at the set, it is every bit of the 913 pieces that it comes with. It comes with the entire passenger airplane, which fills up almost my entire stage here, as well as a support vehicle with a couple of trailers, one for baggage, and this little container here is for food or whatever other little gizmos, gizmos and gadgets. Tractor to pull it. One part that it came with this little stair step, but it doesn't have any type of guardrail or support. This tram van is kind of cool. You look at it, the door folds up, and it has a lot of room inside. You can actually fit almost all the passengers inside this little van to drive them out to the aircraft. So, a fun little futuristic van to go with the set. It also comes with this little tractor to help pull the aircraft around. That actually hooks into the aircraft wheel for driving. When you're looking at the aircraft, you just have to admire how massive this is. When you look at just the, the sheer girth of it, it's almost the size of my hand. It's about eight and a half studs tall or the equivalent of one story on a modular building. So it's basically like a long cylindrical modular on wings. When you look inside, the roof pieces are, uh, they all attach as one solid piece using a couple of plates in here to hold them together as well as some Technic pins. So it's pretty sturdy, but it allows you to remove the whole roof in one piece and see the inside of the aircraft. So starting the front, you have a small galley section where you can see a staff member could work. And you have a handful of first class seats here, just four of them. And each of the, these first class seats come with their own little TV with a flight following map on it. So talk about a fun little build in there. And then these green seats are your coach seats and they don't come with TVs. Uh, it allows you to put in quite a few passengers, as well as it has a lavatory in the back, because again, LEGO has such a fascination with putting toilets on everything, they even put one on the airframe. And it has, right here, a little beverage cart that you can pull out and push up and down the aisle so that you can actually serve drinks on your flight. And it has a place to slide in here, but in the back, that makes it somewhat secure. It's a pretty sturdy build. You've got the windows down each side. And then for the rear, when you open up the back hatch, it actually swings open on both sides. It allows you to get to the, one of these little cargo containers. There's one on the cart, and then there's one additional one here. And this container allows you to put whatever you want, baggage, material, not sure what Gavin put in here. It's like a camera and a suitcase and backpack. But when you slide in, everything that's inside the container is nice and secure in the middle so they don't rattle around inside the airframe. And then you just close the, the doors down nice and smoothly. And on the front, it comes with the door that will swing open and Gavin went in and modified it, and he added something pretty cool. He added an extra set of robot arms here so that the door can fold completely open and flat, as opposed to the other way, the door just opens out like that. But th this way, he's able to give it more of that look like an actual airline door once it's folded completely open. So a great little mod from my son, and one that I highly recommend doing if you buy it. Just so that, again, it will give you just that little bit more realism. The cockpit piece snaps off like most of the LEGO airplane cockpits. It's a 
solid built piece with uh, popping glass. The robot bodies is the yokes and the two pilot seats are elevated off the plate somewhat but with a computer screen and a little shifter here for your, your throttle providing nice detail for a little Lego uh, cockpit area and everything snaps back on nice and quick with, with that a lot of effort that's something that from a playability standpoint it really meets all the playability requirements of being easy to take apart, easy to put back together, and honestly, quite durable. And you can shake it and fly it without having to worry about parts coming off. Unlike some of the other newer um, Star Wars ships that are kind of fragile, not, not quite as whooshable, you could say. One thing they did different on this set from the previous sets was this V-tail with some Technic pins to hold it on. And it gives it a really cool, modern, futuristic look to the tail without a lot of effort. The only part of this aircraft that I really have a complaint about is the engine. And not so much the engine itself, it's a pretty sturdy build, but it just the way it comes off is so quick and so easy that sometimes with my sons playing with it, it'll come off just without any effort at all. And you know, that's never fun when you're trying to have your Lego set for your kids to play with. But this aircraft is a beast. To compare it to a, a base plate, if you were to park this on a base plate, you probably need about four base plates to properly fill the space around this jet, which in my city is an entire city block. And so trying to find a way to build an airport for this is really kind of a challenge because of the size. Four, four 32 by 32s is just such premium space. And that's just a parking space. That's not counting using it for anything else. But as you use it, you can fold the door out, move the staircase right up, and it really is kind of an easy, easy access for playability. Gavin really loves this plane. I'd have to say of the many Lego sets we get, this one has gotten the most traction since building it. Not to mention he built it all himself. So a set that's rated as a seven and up, built by a 10 year old with no problems, no frustrations. He was out the door ready to play before you know it. And that's really something I look for whenever trying to get a Lego set. This set, although it's really big, and so it definitely needs its own real estate, it really is a great Lego set. It's one that at the price point of about $120 is a slightly higher than the 10 cent per brick average I'd like to buy for. But just seeing the satisfaction with my son, absolutely a buy. I would say if you have the opportunity to buy multiples of these, creating your own airport scene with multiple airframes would be pretty awesome. But I recognize that's quite a lot saying based on the size, trying to commit that much square footage. But I hope you enjoyed and let me know in the comments if there's another set you'd like to see a review on. And please like and subscribe so that I can keep making more videos for you. Thank you and have a great night.